Today we are making another classic Spanish recipe, this time from the north of Spain, but more specifically, the beautiful region of País Vasco, where like I've told you in the past, they are famously known for having some of the best cooks in the country. Anyways, we are talking marmitaco de salmón. This is basically a stew made with vegetables, spices, and herbs, and then it's finished off with chunks of salmon that you simmer for a complete and delicious meal. Folks, we're talking easy to make, done in about 40 minutes, and the kind of food that's going to fill your body with so much goodness. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm going to finely chop one small onion, roughly chop four cloves of garlic, and finely chop one red and one green bell pepper. For the next step, I'm going to heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the chopped vegetables. And as always, we'll mix the vegetables around continuously with the olive oil, that way they all evenly saute. After three to four minutes, and the veggies are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. and one teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about one gram. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the seasonings are evenly mixed into the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva, link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in two tomatoes that have been finely grated. You can substitute this for half a cup of canned tomato sauce, or even pasata, which is 125 grams. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. In the meantime, I'm going to cut two medium-sized potatoes that have been peeled, washed, and patted dry, each one into bite-sized pieces that are one inch thick, which is two and a half centimeters. For this recipe, important to use potatoes that are a bit more waxy than starchy as they hold their shape better when you add them into stews. For this recipe, I'm using white potatoes, also known as new potatoes, but you can also use Yukon Gold, Golden Delight, or even red potatoes. After simmering the grated tomato for about four minutes, and as you can see, it's slightly thickened, I'm gonna add in the pieces of potato, along with half a cup of white wine, which is 120 milliliters. If wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for any broth of your choice with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And we'll season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together, and then once again simmer it for a couple minutes without mixing the mixture. After three minutes, and the alcohol has cooked off in the wine, and you can see it's reduced in half, I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of fish broth, which is 600 milliliters. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish one I'm using for this recipe in the description box below. Of course, you can use other types of liquid here, such as vegetable broth, chicken broth, or even water if you like. And we'll turn it up to a high heat, give it a gentle mix, and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll place a lid on the stock pot and lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're going to simmer this between 20 to 25 minutes or until those potatoes are just cooked through. In the meantime, let's start getting our salmon ready. I'm going to add in two salmon fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of each fillet is 8 ounces, which is about 250 grams. And for this recipe, I am using fresh salmon, however, you can also use the frozen stuff here. You just make sure to fully thaw it out beforehand. Then we'll season the salmon fillets with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And then cut each fillet into bite-sized pieces that are one and a half inch thick, which is a little over three centimeters. All right, let's move back to the stock pot. After simmering the stew between 20 to 25 minutes, those potatoes should be perfectly cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, but with a little resistance, they are ready to go. For the final step, I'm going to add in the chunks of salmon, and gently mix them in there, that way they're well incorporated into the stew. 
Then we'll place the lid back on the stock pot and simmer this for another three to five minutes or until the chunks of salmon are perfectly cooked through. Then we'll remove the stock pot from the heat. Transfer some of the stew into a shallow bowl. And for the final touch, we'll sprinkle it with some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, marmitaco de salmon, a bass stew with salmon and vegetables. Super easy to make, so many great aromas coming out of it, and the best part, all done in just 40 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, marmitaco de salmon, a beautiful dish from the Basque country. Looks amazing. Here we go. It is absolutely gorgeous. So many great flavors. The combination of all the ingredients, which by the way are beautifully cooked, is an explosion of so much goodness. And that salmon taking things to the next level. You saw this very easy to make, done in about 40 minutes. Give it a try at home. Serve it next to a crunchy baguette. And of course, a bottle of Spanish Rioja. You're going to have yourself one heck of an incredible meal. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.